here. But let me start off with what I really enjoyed about this film. I don't talk about this a lot in my reviews, but I have to say the lighting and the sound was tremendous in this film, especially when it came to the horror aspects and getting you to feel something. I don't know if it was the theater I was in, I don't know if the so it was the sound engineering of the movie, but there were several times when I honestly thought people were walking behind me or there were people talking or there were raindrops falling from the sky at several points and I was like, wow, this movie really makes me feel immersed in what's going on. And one of the most effective methods you can use in horror to help elevate your audience and get them to shrill a little bit is by using sound effectively. And I think this movie really used that to the nth degree. The creaks, the groans, the moans, the subtle background noises that you can hear really make a difference. And I would actually love to watch this movie with headphones on because while wow, you really get the full effect when it comes to that sound. And the lighting as well. The one thing I noticed about this film is that it uses different shades of yellow and even white at various points and at different parts of each room. For example, you've got this dimly lit, white up lit room. On the other side, you've got this yellow, creepy looking lit room. And then right in the middle, you've got a long, dark hallway. In horror, that's just really effective when you change up the lighting scheme like that. And it really makes it interesting. It's that fear of the unknown and the fear that you don't know what these characters are going to experience next that really helps elevate the scares and really makes this a horror film, which I've kind of gone back and forth on myself as to if this movie is a horror or a thriller film. If you would ask me yesterday, I would have said thriller. However, I've changed my mind. I believe this is a full-fledged horror film and one that horror fans will come to love and appreciate. Additionally, I thought Justin Long and Georgina Campbell were pretty great as leads in this movie. I know I mentioned Bill Skarsgård having a starring role in this film. However, he's not in the film nearly as much as Georgina Campbell and Justin Long are. And I would say that Justin Long and Georgina Campbell are the two standout performers, especially Georgina Campbell. I thought they really sold this movie. They really lent into their characters and Georgina Campbell really sold the fact that she was terrified out of her mind, which great performances in a film never hurt anybody. Georgina Campbell gives a great one here and it really helps elevate the experience. Bill Skarsgård, I think he had his moments. However, I thought his performance was pretty inconsistent and pretty choppy at a lot of points. Of course, I'm a huge fan of his work in it. I just didn't think he brought it all here in Barbarian. And additionally, I thought that Barbarian offered one of the most unique and distinct horror experiences I've seen in a really long time. I want to keep it vague to keep you guys going in as cold as possible into the movie, but when you make the discovery of what's going on in this house, it's nothing like I've ever seen in movies before. And I think that the horror genre has been a little bit lacking in recent years for this film to come out with something fresh, something new, something novel. For you horror fans out there, I think it's really going to satisfy you. For you not horror fans, well, you're in certainly for something different and something very obscure and something you probably won't soon forget get, which is kind of a half pro in this case, which is the fact that this film is definitely an experience that you won't soon forget if you watch it, whether if it's for better or for worse.